Hello guys, welcome back to my stream, and if you're on YouTube watching this one's posted, thank you for watching my newest videos, much appreciated. And when you see this, please like and subscribe to it. So in this video I'm going to talk about the things I feel are most important for new players and returning players. <clears throat> So first, if you're a new player, you're probably going to start with the Awakening quest, right? So once you're done with that, you're going to be looking at this massive star chart, and you're going to unlock things very gradually. You usually start on Earth and go from here. Work in completing all of your star chart. And then you'll have access to every node in Warframe. Then once you're comfortable, you can then bump it to Steel Path. Those enemies will be a hundred levels higher than what you're used to. But that's more for the more experienced returning players if they've cleared their star chart in the past. So once you start working on your star chart, then you're going to also work on your codex. Here's why the codex is so important. It has all the quests in Warframe. So you want to get all of these completed. And there'll be conditionals you have to do and make sure you do those to unlock and progress through the story. You also get Warframes from those quests. Also, here's a tip for new players and returning players. Use your foundry as an inventory management system. Let's say you don't have enough slots, you can just store items in your foundry until you're ready to claim them. You don't have to claim them immediately. They will stay there. And then this is more for... Yeah, everyone. New players and returning players. So if you remember, and if you're just now finding this out, you can actually buy many of the base Warframe's blueprints from the arsenal, and you just got to do the missions to get the parts. So let's say, for example, you want to get... Oh, let's go with Excalibur, for example. All you got to do is go to the market or your arsenal. You can buy the blueprint with credits, and you can buy one or two, and boom, you'll have the blueprint, and then you can go find out how to kill him, which usually, he, well actually he's killable on Mars, or farmable on Mars. I'll show you where that is, just to give you an idea of where to farm him at. I'm going to put back on the right with your star chart real quick. So let's say you need to go to Mars, right? You're going to look for an assassination mission on Mars. I personally can't remember which node it is on Mars myself, but oh, there it is. War. Look for the node War. A mid left. <laughs> And you can farm his parts by doing that mission. And he's also a starter, so if you don't select him, you can always farm him. Same goes for Volt and Mag. You can actually get Volt from a clan dojo, so if you don't have a clan dojo, I recommend finding a clan. I will show you where you can find him in your clan dojo. Now, every dojo will have a different layout, so keep that in mind. Burgers and fries. So yeah, let's say you're in your clan dojo. Mine's over here to the left. This is called the Tenno Lab. And this is where you can buy a couple of the Warframes and a bunch of weapons. I mean a bunch. So for example, you can get 
just in the Orphan Dojo, you can get parts for Neja. I'm just gonna just go to Orphans and stuff. Banshee, Neja, Volt, Zephyr, and Wukong. And these are honestly all pretty easy builds besides Neja. So if you just come here in your Tenno Lab, you can even fast travel to it. If you go to fast travel in your menu, there's also Energy Lab for Corpus based weapons and gear. Chem Lab for Grenier weapons that you can build, Bio for the Infested themed weapons, and then of course Tenno Lab. Other labs aren't as important right now, I just want you to know those couple. <clears throat> and also, if you're actually looking for a clan, my clan is always recruiting. I run the clan Shinobi of the Lotus, as you see the emblem right there. So if you're interested in that, in joining my clan, or you have a clan and you want to join my alliance. I'm going to actually have my Discord linked in the description below. So, if you want to join the Discord, or you want to join my clan, you can do. We also have a public community in that Discord server too, so if you just enjoy looking for a cool community of orphan players, so much for me feel free to join. Uh, you know, it's not quite as squalid as I had feared. Here's another good tip for new players. If some guests from another clan over to admire your Hello, thank you for Another thing I want to mention about Warframe for new players is take your time, enjoy the journey. Don't get overwhelmed, because there is a lot seen in this game. They also have a bunch of weekly content. Like I said earlier, don't worry about most of the other stuff besides the star chart. This thing right here, and your quests. Yeah, you'll have a bunch of weekly, con weekly content to do too. And dailies. Or the Void Fissures, uh, Invasions, Sanctuary Onslaught. And you can't access this mission, this type of mission, until after the War Within. Then, when you see even farther, you can access this weekly. There's just a bunch of weekly content, so don't focus on it until you're later in the game. But this is this is something you should focus on. That's weekly. Now, just in case well, some of you ain't can. doing all this out of the kindness So of this your is hearts. Warframe's version of a battle pass. This is free. It's called Nightwave. You can get a bunch of stuff from here. You can get Warframe slots, Nightmare for Credit to buy, mods, skins, weapons, a bunch of stuff. And the store, the story rotates weekly. So yeah, focus on this and grind it out. You can get Warframe slots. You'll need those. You'll get arcane. You'll get cosmetics. Just a good free-to-play model. Very fair. Also, don't spend your starter plat right away. If you need to, only spend it on Warframe and Weapon slots. Because if you spend it on a cosmetic, you're going to need slots pretty fast in this game. And if you spend it, you won't be able to get slots unless you pay money. But if you can learn the trading system, you can actually make plats by selling items. So... Yes, trading is a good skill to have, but what is just doing is needed, it plus takes too long. Here's another key thing I want to mention as well. Don't delete your base warframes for credits, because in the future, you'll want to get their abilities off those warframes to, for other warframes, and you're going to feed it to this giant infested mass back here called the helmet. But that's more for the returning players.
another tip for the returning players. And this is this is also kind of a spoiler. Well, actually, it's not if you take the Deviri path. So, oh, that's the thing with Front Dungeon 2. There are actually two paths to start the game now. There's the Origin System path, which is the path I started out with five years ago. Then there's a Deviri path where you start out as the Drifter instead of the Warframe. So, if you start there, you'll get access to this guy faster, but you'll get access to other, other features of him until later in the game. So, for, this is back to the returning players. Focus was reworked the other year and changed, so you may have to reinvest all your focus points. And this is another good tip for new players. So, early on you're going to get a lot of duplicate mods from just playing the game. So if you go to your mod screen and you go to duplicates, you can actually look at all the duplicates you have and you can actually sell them off for credits or endo. And that's a super easy thing to do, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Just as an example. Yeah, yeah. So let's say you just want to delete these mods for crits or endo, choose whichever one you want. And confirm. There you go. Now you have more endo. There is also a weekly mission that I can't show you. I'll actually do a guide for those, like a short on tomorrow when they reset. These that those are also good little endo farms. The other thing too is let's say you want to find out where to find a certain relic if you're cracking relics. You can go to your back to your codex Go to Relics and Arcanes. Let's say you want to search Gauss Prime, the newest Prime Warframe. So I just searched up his relics. I have two out of the four relics he's in currently. Since he's new, and then you click on it, you can see everything as you can see where it drops. Which actually, if you're cracking relics and selling prime parts, is the best way to make platinum. Early on, especially. I don't want to give too much information in this video. I want to keep it shorter anyway. So, if you guys want a part two, or if you have something you guys want to add in the comments, please feel free to do so. And I want to thank everyone for watching and viewing once again. Please like, subscribe, and share. And once again, Discord will be in the comments, Shinobi of the Lotus. I will talk to you guys soon with a new video. Enjoy your day.